By the end of this video, you're going to have a pretty solid understanding on how to pick interest to target for your Facebook ads. If you're new here, my name is Armando and I help small business owners and entrepreneurs with online strategies so that they can generate more leads and sales. So if that's something that you're interested in, click the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the future videos. I'm about to walk you through the strategy and thought process that I go through when selecting interest for all of my clients. But before I do that, I want to start off by saying that it's always a good idea to start with warm audiences when you're running Facebook ads. So those are people who have bought stuff from you before, people who have engaged with your website. These are people who have engaged with your Facebook and Instagram profiles as well with any posts or other ads. But with that being said, there are times where you just absolutely have to use interest interest targeting because you're just getting started or you're breaking into a new market or for whatever the reason is and that's what I'm going to cover here. The very first thing that I do before creating any ad is research. I want to start off with identifying where my ideal customers are hanging out. So I start off by doing research on the internet of a similar podcast or shows that people in my target audience might be listening to or watching, uh, any sort of business coaching, books, magazines that may be reading, public figures that they may follow, associations that they may be a part of, Facebook fan pages that they may interact with, websites, products, services, suppliers, even brands and stores that they may shop at. I start by compiling a long list of all the possible scenarios or places where these people are hanging out and interacting with online. So as an example, let's say that I am targeting small business owners. I would typically say that there's a bunch of small business owners or business coaches out there that I could create a list off of. I could say that there's business podcasts that these guys listen to. There's probably business books and magazines that they read. There's public figures that they follow. There's definitely business associations. So I've tried to narrow down and write those um, in the spreadsheet as much as I possibly can before I create anything. Now, once I have my research done, I head on over to the audience section of the business manager because what I like to do is create saved audiences based on what's called layered interest. Now, a layered interest and the strategy that we use here is sort of like a Venn diagram. What we're trying to do is put a whole bunch of people in one bucket and then they have a certain interest and then tell Facebook, I want you to get to people who not only have this interest, but they also share this other interest. That typically gives you all the people here in the middle that you're gonna target, Look, looking at this Venn diagram, they're possibly gonna be closer to the target audience that you're looking for. Now you can go about doing these things a couple of ways. I'm gonna show you the manual way, and then I'm gonna show you a tool that I've been using for the past several years that has not only made my life easier, but has saved me a ton of time uh, and headache. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is head on over to the detailed targeting section, and you're just gonna wanna type something in here. Let's say that I have a product related to guitars. Now, I don't know anything about guitars, but let's say that I, that I have something related to guitars that I want to sell. So I'm just going to type in guitar and Facebook is going to give me some suggestions. Uh, things like guitar, brass guitar, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, uh, shredded guitar, all these different things that are related to guitar. Now I'm going to choose guitar and then if I click on more suggestions, then Facebook is going to generate a list of suggestions that are related to this initial term. Now I want you to keep something in mind that Facebook gives you 25 suggestions for the term that you're entering in. And it's the same 25 suggestions that everyone else on Facebook gets if you're using this method. So that means that you're technically competing with everyone who is um, going to type in a similar term or a term related to this. They're gonna get the exact same audience. So I'm just gonna go down the list here and I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna click on you know, just anything that I feel is related. So now basically I'm telling Facebook, hey, I want you to target people who are interested in these things here. Now, the next step is to click on this narrow audience tab. Facebook then is going to give you another box that says, well, people have to be interested in this, but they also must be interested in something else. So in other words, they also must match these other things. So I'm gonna type in guitar again, and they also must match something like um, finger style, you know, maybe something like guitarist, maybe something like, you know, uh, premier guitar, 
or tailored guitars, etc. Now what I've done here is created sort of this Venn diagram. Facebook is going to only show your ad to people who have these things in common. They must like these interests and they must also like these interests. Now you have to be very careful with this method because when you're adding things in here, you'll notice that you get some of the exact same categories that you had up here. So acoustic guitar is here and acoustic guitar is right here. Facebook is not going to separate that because it gives you the same 25 interests. So you're going to have to be diligent and pay attention to the categories that you're entering in here. Now, the second way to do this is to use a tool like Interest Explorer. Now, there is a link in the description um, that links to this tool if you guys want to check that out. This is a tool that I've been using for a few years now, and basically, I do all my interest targeting this way. Uh, what this tool does is it taps into Facebook's marketing API and open graph, giving you hidden interests that aren't typically shown to everyone when you look through the Facebook targeting section. So how this tool works and how I use it personally is I follow the exact same process. I go through my spreadsheet and I look and I do my research and find out what all these different categories and places that people are hanging out at. And then I come to my tool and I start to type that in. So let's say that I type in, you know, guitar or guitar lessons. I'll type in guitar in this case. Um, Facebook now, this tool now is going to give me 141 related interest to guitar. And the reason you get more of these here, it's because like I mentioned earlier, this tool pulls from the Facebook marketing API um, that is typically not available in this section here. Now here's what I do with this tool. Um, or let me show you what this tool does and I'll show you how, to, how I use it. So what it does is it pulls these interests and it organizes them by audience size from smallest to largest. Now I find that the smaller audiences are typically less marketed to. So if you can find a bunch of small audiences to target, to make a big pool, you're gonna have a much better, um, I should say performance of ad than you would if you targeted big ones that everyone else is targeting. What this tool also does is it gives you these little search options. So if you see something here that maybe you're not 100% sure if it's related to your category, then you can click the Facebook button here and it will search this item or this specific query on Facebook and show you the pages that are related um, to this category. The other thing that it does is it does the same thing for Google. So if you choose to look this up on the internet to see if you can find something that's related, then you can choose and you can kind of see if it matches, okay? One other thing that this tool does is when the audience gets big enough, okay? When you have a big enough audience, it gives you this magnifying glass so you can dig deeper into this guitar, uh, jazz guitar section. And it'll show additional terms that normally you didn't see on this first page. So here's how I use this. Basically, I go and I find things that I know are related to my audience. And when I select them, they'll get added in the selection box up here. Now I can go ahead and select, you know, any one of these that I know are related to, let's say, my, my category in here. And then what I do is I click on Save Project. Now, once the project is saved, it puts it in this project list and I can click on all the audiences that I chose related to uh, my, my research here. What I do from here is that I select all the audiences, put them in the selection box, and I create what's called layers. Now, layers is creating the Venn diagram from these audiences, but mixing them up in different ways so that you don't have to do this manually. So let's say I wanna add an additional layer and I wanna randomly select categories. Now, if I click randomly again, it will mix the categories up again. Now, it's created two layers and I can copy layer number one and then I go here to this section, which is the detail targeting section, and I go ahead and I paste my section in here and all those categories are now pasted in there. Then I go back and I say I want to narrow audiences again. They must also match this second set of interest. And I type that in here again. Okay. And now I've just created the layer with a few clicks of a button by choosing all the categories that are within the tool. What I do from here is I label this audience. I may label a guitar audience one and I save it. Then I go back and I repeat this process again. I will clear this section here, I would add a, a layer, okay? I would add a layer here, and then I would say 
organized by audience size. And basically this selects a completely separate set of audiences to put in different layers. So then I'll copy these again and I can come back in here and I will um, do this process over again. I'll label this audience again and I'll repeat the process several times until I have three or four different types of interest that I can target uh, better. So now when you run your ads, you can pick from audience one, two, and three, run your ads, test the audiences out, and see which one's going to perform the best for you. So if this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you want to check out Interest Explorer, there's a link in the description of this video.